from it because it means I'm sort of pulling it from this end and while he's tipping his pelvis under he's pulling it from that end so I get an effect of stretching it from both sides. Alright. So that anyone who can have told you throughout that you've got tight hips, this is a stretch or one of the stretches that you would use. Now that's only the top end right so we're stretching this end. He's going to put his hands on the ground. Now he's going to lift his foot up in the air. And yeah, give him a club. And he should be able to sit up straight comfortably. If, he's, if he can't sit up straight comfortably, it means he needs the stretch. A bit of, bit of pain around the, yeah, the quad. Up on the leg. And if he can reach back and touch the ball with both hands. And he's pretty good today. In other, other days we've done with Larry, he's struggled to sit up straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the fact that he's sort of like not enjoying this, it's going that he needs the stretch. Oh, yeah, right down there. All right. Okay. So you would test left and right, because if left doesn't need the stretch, then he doesn't stretch the left leg. You only stretch the one that's tight. All right. Does that make sense? <laughs> Good players are basically near their hands, so you're, you're going to do a, basically a figure eight, a bit of a loop. So, so what do you mean? This club should, should be yeah. And when when the club is yeah, horizontal to the ground, it should be somewhere in line with your left arm towards the camera. So about there, you're in okay. there. Yep. So you're going yep. to have to compensate on the way down yes. yep. by you know, being yes. a bit of a loop. That's nice. Yeah, so you'll come over the top, generally. And... But I want to have a look at your stability in your right body. Looks pretty good at the moment. And now see that left foot's coming a little bit off. I like to see, generally, that left foot stay pretty well on the ground. Okay. Your left foot's a little bit off the ground, your knee's down a little yeah. bit that way. So, you know, we're going to have to replant that. strength in this leg, uh, both legs. We've got weak legs, 
then you'll just swing your arms at it. Um, you won't transfer a lot of weight in the golf swing and start that lower body on the downswing first. So uh, I think you should do a few little tests. Huh? Right. Well, I pick an intermediate target out within one club length, no further. You don't want to. Oh, yeah. Yep. You don't want to pick it way out there because it's it's easy to line up something within one club length. So what would, would you look at on the ground there? Well, there's not much there. Is there? No. <laughs> no. We'll just say there'd be uh, some sort of. Could you, use a, or a, could you use a golf tee? Can you just drop one of those down? No. Probably not allowed to. <laughs> You can't yeah. see your plant. Oh, you're not allowed to do that. That's it. Right. So, say the piece of bark, I'd come down, I'd have a practice swing about here, about two club lengths away. Picture the shot. No, the shot I want to, you know, you've done all your sort of analysing of the wind and what club to hit. And uh, pick your target out. Come in slightly open and line up, line up that. Then I get my feet set, and then I pull, pull the trigger. Basically blank, because I try to visualise the, the putt going in and get a good picture of the line that I want to hit it on. So you use the name on the ball as a tactic and... No, no, I don't. Uh, I just put down blank. But there's, you can use, there's lines on it, you can draw lines oh, on it okay, okay, okay. Uh, to help you. And you, the idea of that is to put the line on the, the line that you've, you've picked so you don't have to worry about it. And then you just work on your, your touch and your feel, yeah, your distance control. Whereas I, I tried that for a little while, experimented with that, but I got too, uh, too, worried, in, about too worried about the line, thinking, oh, it's a little left, it's a little right where I just, I just trust my natural instincts because that's what a lot of putting is. You can putt set up like this. You can putt, you know, uh, people putt like this with any, you can putt with a three wood reasonably well. And that's a good <laughs> practice, you know, good for your touch and feel. I get people to putt with sand wedges because they have to blade it and it's really good for their tempo and not using your wrists. You know, there's all sorts of things because it's all touch and feel, I reckon. You know, your eyes have got to be in a certain position and your body's got to be in a, a reasonable position that you don't want to move a lot because you, you don't want to be moving like in the golf swing. You've got to be very stable when you putt. But whether you're a little bit open or a little bit shut, and whether you take a little bit inside, that's a bit of a personal thing. You know, there's been lots of great putters that have done all sorts of wonderful uh, actions and different techniques. So You mentioned the visualisation here, so do you actually you watch the whole part? Yeah, I, before I hit a putt, so I've got a 20 footer, I'm seeing that putt, and then I come in. I generally, last last bit I come down, I visualise the line, draw it to, back to the hole, and then I come down, and I'm drawing the line down, and I put my putter down like that, and then I basically pull the trigger. Yeah. yeah. And I've, Oh, look at that one. That's all right, Dave. It's skinny, that one. Yeah. Here we go, John. Yeah, tell you what, you didn't get me over in the shot like I did. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, I got some tackles.